Hey! Take it easy. This is Judge Lawton. Earlier today, our scouts informed me that they have identified multiple infestations in the downtown Marshall area. Based on this information, and for your own safety, I'm declaring a lockdown, effective immediately and until further notice. This is a matter for the police, and they will deal with it. As a reminder to all citizens of Marshall, until the current crisis is over, possession of firearms by civilians has been declared unlawful. Any civilians currently in possession of firearms have a two-day grace period to surrender them to the sheriff or one of his duly appointed deputies. I need a breather.
Just got word on the radio. Sounds like Doc's in some kind of trouble. Where is he at? According to the reports, he's up at the cemetery outside Spencer's Mill. Hope he's not looking for new patients up there. while you're out there happy to help it's no never mind it's stupid i'm confused i've been packing up my dad's stuff and i found a watch box it's from the birthday present i got him when i was 12. this stupid little plastic thing with a cartoon fish on it i don't know why he kept it but it kind of made me realize i don't have anything to remember him by so I was going to ask if you'd go up to where he died and bring me something of his. No, forget it. It's stupid. It's way too risky. I I'm sorry I brought it up. All due respect, Your Honor, we're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulties, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. 
We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. You have a society? I'm sorry. What exactly happened in the United States when I wasn't looking? Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is, or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, but it's all we have. All we have? The Army's camp just across the river. Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And, of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right. Well, thanks for the offer. But we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns when the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. Don't take it personal. She's under a lot of strain. We're penned in pretty good by these things, and like you might have heard, we're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out, and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. Feel like lending the hand? I'm on it. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. That won't work. to see the old girl like this. Wait, what? The town. It's been on rough times for a while now. But it used to be a damn fine place to live. Raise a family. Whatever you say. Of course, my wife didn't agree, but never you mind. Go on. Well, she married a machinist. Didn't like it when I became a cop instead. She finally had enough a few years back. Took our son to live in the city that it would be a more enriching environment for you. I'm sorry. Not your fault. Let's hope things there aren't as bad as they are here. That should do it. Not about time things started looking up. Let's make this happen.
Now I'm ready. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Let's roll. Keep an eye out to the left. You think it's bad now? You should have seen Marshall in the first couple of days. Seemed like half the town was already dead or dying. The other half was trying to cram into the courthouse for protection. Mayor Carson he got himself shot trying to cross the bridges. The city council was locked in a conference room and refused to come out. The police station was overrun. It was chaos. Judge Lockman stepped up. Got us all organized, kept people from each other's throats. So maybe she's not technically the law of the land. Damn sure we'd all be dead without her. Of course, some folks can never see how good they got it until it's all gone. Go on. You know how it is. Some people, you ask them to go without for a little bit, and suddenly they're on the cross. Boy, it's nothing new. You never heard more whining than from the back seat of a patrol car. on the way. Come on. We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We gotta help those people first. We got Zed's at nine o'clock. Hello? Consider this one searched. <coughs> Zombies up ahead. Go through or go around? <coughs> Anybody home? Don't let it get 
get up! Saved me. Thanks. We owe you big time. Don't you worry about it. We're happy to help. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. The rest of those infestations can wait a while. I appreciate the help, though. If you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear, I don't think anybody'd mind. Got a message from one of our neighbors. There's some trouble we might want to look into.
too proud to ask for help. You got that one. Obliged to you. Thought them things had my number for sure this time. What are you doing up here? Paying my respects. Uh, that's Magina, right over there. I'm sorry. Uh, it was a long time ago. At least it spared her from seeing all this. Hell, she'd probably handle it better than I do. She always was the smart one in the relationship. Now, lately, I find myself coming out here more and more regular. Talking to her sets my mind at ease. Didn't figure on them things following me this time. Anyways, appreciate the help. You find your people and need a doctor, you give me a call. How are things on the home front? Tense. People are starting to get antsy, what with the crowding and all. I'll swing by when I get a chance. We'll talk about it. Cannot believe you. You want to run away. Again. Come on, Lily. That's not fair. You're right. It's not. We've built a home here, and you just want to abandon it because things are getting tough. What's going on? I was just trying to tell Lily that we need to start looking for a new place to live. We're too cramped in here, and our runners keep having to go farther and farther from the church to find supplies. Seems reasonable. Things have been pretty tight lately. Fine. Then maybe you should bail on us, too. Uh, should we? I'm on. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. say.
was that with you and Lily? Hmm. It's a long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. And our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. And I didn't handle it well. And as soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. What happened? Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this was my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we can fortify pretty easily. And check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem pretty excited about this place. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Jesus! Who's... I can't see... Help me... What the hell was that? Beats me. That... That didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nah. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Well, that's a few options, at least. There might be more out there if you look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort. <laughs> 